What's going on YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarrant.com. Ooh, I got a mosquito. So today we talk about remotely gathering hardware information for uh, clients on your network. So here's the end result, the CSV file. So we gather computer name, manufacturer, model, processor type, all this stuff. And yes, you're reading that. That is my domain controller running on a uh, compact Passario CQ57 with 1.6 gigabytes of RAM. Not the best machine, but it works. All right, so let's take a look about how we do this. First things first, I'm going to get a list of computer names out of my Active Directory. And for my purposes, I'm only going to use one machine. That's my domain controller. And then back computers just to illustrate to you what happens when uh, a machine that doesn't is not on the network. So there is my computer text path. Export location is where I'm going to put the CSV file once we're all done. So the first thing we're going to do is test the connection. So basically ping the machine to see if it's online. And I use a two count. So if I get two responses from a machine, I consider that live and on the network. Uh, if you want to do the full four, it'll obviously take longer if you have uh, a large list of computers. Is it'll wait for the ping to complete and then go to the next one. So simple for each loop. I'm going to ping each machine. If it's a good machine, we're going to output the uh, computer name to cscriptslivePCs.txt. If it's a dead machine, because I also want to know what machine was not online when I run this inventory. So I'll put that in deadpcs.txt. So that's the first little piece of the script. Once we've tested all the machines, so now we're going to run the inventory only on the live, the live boxes. Obviously, there's no need in running it on the dead machines. So the way I did this, another simple for each loop, and this is basically setting all the variables to get all of the information. And I used almost all WMI uh, object commandlets here, with the exception of the username. And this is the same way I did it in the last video about finding what uh, user last user was logged in to a particular machine. So I'm going to get the BIOS information. Uh, this is going to, the hardware is going to be used to gather various information, and you'll see that down at the bottom here. Uh, most of this stuff, pretty basic. So on the volume information, we're going to filter only local disks. Discs. So we don't, we're not really interested in USB and all that stuff. Uh, and this piece is, we're doing a little math on the numbers, so we get it, the uh, number back in gigabytes. And we only want the C drive. So if you have more than one disk in that box, obviously change that to meet whatever uh, purpose you need it. You can just take this whole where statement out. And that will give you all the local disks. Um, processor type. So total memory. This we're actually getting the memory from the Win32 computer system class. And then this part here, we're just doing a little math to get it back in uh, human readable format. Next thing here is the last time this machine rebooted. So we know uh, when the last time that happened for update purposes. And then the last three things here, we're going to get the IP address. So we're using this networks, the Win32 network adapter configuration class to get the IP address and the MAC address. And the BIOS setting, Win32 BIOS, to get the serial number of the box. So once we get all that information, the output OBJ portion here is we're just creating the, the CSV file. So we do that by using the new object, new PS object. And then this information here is all of the column information. So my first column is going to be computer name. My second column is going to be manufacturer, model, processor, etc, etc, etc. And then down here I'm just going to take that object 
I'm going to pipe it to export CSV to that location we uh, identified over the top. I put a pin in here. You can take this out if you wish. Uh, if you run this on a regular schedule, you can append it to the last, the last time you ran it. No type information, just gets rid of that first type information row in the CSV file. And that is basically it. So let's run this thing and see what we get. Okay, so here you can see we have our live PCs.txt. DC1 is the only one in there because that's the only one turned on. Dead PCs, bad computer because that's not even a computer on my network. And then here is the output the CSV file. with all the information, the same information that you saw in the beginning of this video. So that's how I do it. Uh, I'm sure there are other methods. I'm actually going to take this video and over the course of the next couple weeks uh, turn this into a function so it's a little more modular and also see if we can turn this into a workflow to speed this process up. So more to follow on all that. Uh, as always, you can download the code on the website, signalmore.com. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, uh, and I appreciate you watching.